In the depths of the Churchill War Rooms behind Downing Street, security professionals gathered for the launch of the Security Institute's Manifesto for Professional Security. Among other things, the manifesto calls for unity to raise standards and professionalize the industry. I caught up with Security Institute Chairman Emma Shaw and asked her about the manifesto. The manifesto is really about the Security Institute's um, uh, thoughts, ideas and considerations for the security, security profession, what the industry is going to look like in future, how we should professionalise it. Really some, some ideas that have come about over many years of, of working with colleagues and looking at the shape of our industry and its current form and actually where we want to see it going forward. Um, it also marks the 15th anniversary of the Security Institute itself since its foundations and we've come a huge way in that time um, but, but we can do more and we can do more and we recognise that even as the largest professional membership association and organisation that um, we need to work together, we need to work together with professional bodies so that we've got a much clearer, louder voice as a profession to all our various stakeholders. Do you think there's, um, there's, there's a lot of organisations in the security industry do you think that there's a need to get them working together? Absolutely, there's, there's a huge benefit um, uh, in terms of why members go to a particular organisation or association, but, but collectively we represent views of people working in the profession. And our concept behind the manifesto and the work that we're keen to undertake is really about those organisations coming together, whether it's an, under a collective umbrella with everybody retaining their identities, or some other form, but what we recognise is that we need to work together. I think this is a very ambitious manifesto. I think it's absolutely right in what it is uh, trying to do. The industry is right for these sort of initiatives. For, for me, the key point about the manifesto is it paints a vision of where the security industry really needs to start thinking about uh, how it decides it wants to go. Uh, I particularly like the idea of the security sector coming together. It's very fragmented. Uh, arguments get uh, diluted and the idea that people come together and the industry comes together to present its uh, 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 benefits and its value strikes me as wholly good both in terms of speaking the language of the business and of course as they said today speaking the language of the public. Do you think the manifesto will sort of, um, be broadly accepted by the industry? Well of course it's aspirational. What it sets out is a vision about where the security sector might want to go. Uh, the next stage is to get buy-in, and of course that's a more difficult step to take. I think that the principles are really solid, the uh, vision is very commendable, uh, the harder task is going to be bringing people on board to make it happen. It's wonderful, but 80% of the companies operating in the UK either won't read it, won't hear about it, and if they do, they won't be interested in it. So why does anybody want, I, I'm glad they're trying, to have a great increase in standards. But if you're improving standards, really it's the responsibility of the government to raise those standards and to impose those standards and, those, and to inspect the companies who are in the security industry. So I would like to hope um, that it's a not too distant aspiration for us to be able to get together as professional bodies, talk about what the future might look like and collectively agree what the future might look like. We've set out our manifesto and our ideas for how we see the future of the industry this evening and in our published manifesto document. But it's not just our thoughts. What's important to all of this, for this to happen and this to become a reality for the industry, this is about everybody's collective view. Right. Are you worried that um Finally, do you, do you expect that you'll get a wide take up in this manifesto? I'm not worried about that. I'm hopeful for that. Yeah. I am really hopeful for that because that will show commitment for the sector and that's the way that we'll change. I'm, I, I, I don't necessarily think that we will be able to achieve everything in a very short space of time. But if we look at where the institutes come in the first 15 years and we set a path for the next 15 years, then that's the way for us to go. Thank you.